What's it been like since the, the new manager's come in? How's it different? Um, it's, it's been good. Uh, you know, the input's been since Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning we was on the uh, you know, on the pitch, using it as, using it as the training pitch, um, with the gaffer just trying to get his, uh, you know, the way his philosophies and um, his views across. And, um, you know, I think we've, we've took that on board. Um, I should think it showed in the first uh, 45 minutes from tonight. Um, you know, it's something that you know the gaffer just said in there. The next couple of months is going to be um, hard graft, tough, you know, tough hard work, and um, getting getting into the conditioning that we, um, you know, requires us to be to, put, to play the way he wants to play. So um, we're all looking forward to it, and uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, fulfil what he believes we can do. He mentioned that he feels like the team's not fit enough at the moment. Have you noticed that training sessions have all of a sudden become more intense? Um, a little bit, but we couldn't obviously do too much with with a game um, so so quickly after Saturday. Um, you know, it may have been a bit silly if obviously we came in Sunday, Monday running, um, running so intensely with with this game in mind tonight. So, but um, I'm sure we'll see uh, the increase in um, you know the the intensity in training in the, in the next coming weeks. He seems very engaged. He seems like he there's a lot of personal coaching going on there where he takes players to one side and he, he tries to explain absolutely everything that he wants out of that player this evening. How have you found him so far on that? Uh, yeah, really good. Obviously, I've had a, um, with, with playing Saturday and then obviously playing tonight, um, a good, you know, long, lengthy chats and, and the way he, way he wants me to play. Obviously, I played wide on the left today and he just said, you know, I want you wide. Um, hugging the touch at times and when you get the ball, be uh, be positive, get out of the full-back. Um, and obviously, the first couple of times I did that, I managed to get a shot off on goal and, and obviously happy to see it, see it going. Was the, the Grimsby game one of your better performances so far? Because it has been limited game time for you. Oh, well, I've, not, I've obviously not played much this year. Um, so, suppose it's one of the, It's got to be on it. I'm probably one of the worst things I've not played. No, uh, um, it was a, t a chance tonight. Obviously, the, the league is the main one um, on Saturday. Um, but it was a chance tonight to, to you know to try and put across what the uh, what the gaffer wants. Um, I think we did that first half. Um, you know, I think they got to grips with it a little bit uh, in the second half. You know, they just probably spoke about it in their changing room. Uh, maybe we fatigued a little bit and wasn't as sharp as well in the first half. But I think there was uh, signs there in the first half. Why do you think you weren't playing under Kevin Nolan? Um, I'm, I'm honestly not too sure. Um, I was, even though I wasn't playing, I was gutted when the gaffer went. You know, everyone. Everyone uh, loved the gaffer, um, myself definitely included. You know, he brought me to the club. Um, it was one of them things. He obviously, obviously, we have. I think you look around. You know, there's a lot. There's a lot of good players in there. So I kind of uh, understood when you bring players to the club, you obviously believe they're a um, certain level of ability. And and obviously, the gaffer brought a lot of players to the club. So um, I just found myself down the pecking order. You know, it didn't mean I, did, I thought the gaffer thought any less of me. Um, but when you sign players, you're ultimately you sign him for your, your first 11, aren't you? So, um, and I was going to play him. So it's just football. Were you surprised when he went? Uh, I think we all was, and um, I think we was all more gutted purely because it was we let, we let him down in the performances, you know, um, and us playing so poorly collectively um, and not doing what the gaffer wanted us to do is ultimate, ultimately what led to um, what happened, which is. More got in obviously because everybody liked the gaffer so much. Can you believe you bought him on the table? <laughs> From the way we was playing, we we didn't deserve to win games. So, do you know what I mean? Obviously, it's only five games in. It, it'd be strange of me if I said no. I can't believe it because if you, you'd then say, well, look at the way you played, and if you shit three goals in every game, where do you expect to be? So, um, no, just um, it's something. Um, well, well, I'm, I'm very confident. We're all very confident. We won't be there for very long. Um, you know, it's, it's going to take a lot of hard work now um, to change it around. And it, obviously, we won't we won't be right up there in the next three, four weeks. But it's something. Obviously, a season's a long, ten months, uh, what nine months log. So, um, luckily, we've got um, a big, massive chunk of it left. It's only early days, of course, very but yeah, so. it feels like you're turning a bit of a corner, maybe. You, you, you could say that, but then obviously we've not won the game tonight, which is. Um, Frustrating, but uh, obviously the, the main one is um, taking nothing away from this competition. The main one's obviously Saturday, where we want to get it. Um, you know, where we want to win the game and, and you know start climbing that table. Come on, thank you. Thanks. Well, in, in the short time that he's had you, what, what kind of messages do you try to put across, Harry, in, in terms of the way he wants you to play? Um, just just wants us to get the ball down and play. You've seen it. Um, you've seen it tonight in the first half. You know. Um, 
you know, he's brought back Millie and, um, you know, Millie's a good he's a ball player, if you like, and um, you can you can see that uh, just from, up, you can see why he believes in the way Millie plays um, and obviously he fits into the way that uh, the gaffer wants to play. Um, so, no, like, it's just one of the things, it'll take time, obviously, the sooner, the sooner it better, uh, happens, the better, and um, I'm sure we'll be better for it. What's the confidence like among the players? Because it can't be that good when you when you're shipping in goals and losing every week. It's, it's not going to be. That's just human nature, isn't it? But um, you know, it's something that you have to deal with, and we've we've got a ride. And you know, um, going to Exeter is a tough place to go. It might be kind of what we needed. We was hoping that that would be the case at Lincoln. You know, where mm-hmm. tough place to go. They're riding high. You know, if if we go and get a, a good result there, that would have um, you know hopefully kick started our season. That didn't happen. Um, so hopefully we can go and do that this Saturday. And given the pre-season that you had personally, were you surprised not to have played a bigger part? Um, I w- a little bit. I was just disappointed because I felt sharp. Uh, I felt good, um, and then obviously played so little and kind of took a backward step in, you know, playing so little minutes in in a four or five week period. But that's like like I've obviously mentioned before. That just is the way it was. I was looking around and. I'm some, uh, got some quality players in the positions I play in, so I, I couldn't um, moan too much. I, I kind of understood why and was always going to be there ready for uh, my chance uh, to take it when it came. I, I think from talking to the new manager on, on Monday, we, we were talking about leadership. It, 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 he didn't seem to think there's enough communication in the team. Is that something, that he, a message that he's tried to get across as well? Uh, yeah, definitely. Well, obviously, our. Um, our teams a very different team from last year. You know, we lost um, some, some big, big characters, some big yeah. voices. Yeah, Shola, um, Smudge, um, and they're two of the two of the people you could hear them the most before a game. Even, even obviously Smudge, um, if he wasn't playing, you'd, mm. you'd still be uh, you'd hear him. You know, obviously Millie, Dicko was was a really good leader. He was a captain. He wasn't the captain sort of Dicko. Um, you know, and obviously we went for a younger uh, team with more legs and stuff. Um, so you're obviously you lose one side to gain, you know, the legs, and um, I think that's now where obviously we've got to um, grow up a little bit. I've, I'm obviously one of the becoming one of the older pros now, so uh, myself, there's a few others, and you know, it's just got to become um, more more of a leader, and um, you know, bring bring the the younger lads up with us. Are you missing those voices? Do you think? Um, it's kind of maybe but it's kind of shows that way, don't it? Um, you're gonna listen. It's especially at this league. You need to you need to pull people around and organise, and you need two or three that are gonna do that. Mm. Um, although I do think we've still got them. Um, like like I said, the name was I mentioned just there. Um, we, we they're gonna be missed. You know what I mean? Just purely because. You know, I mean, imagine if you accumulated the Premier League games between you know them three or four people I've just mentioned. It'd be staggering. So, um, and I don't think any team in this league would would not miss it.